Happy Monday, world! I'm sure by now, if you guys are anywhere on social media, you've heard of Jerome, and he put together this campaign to help Somalia. I mean, Turkish Airlines donated a frickin' plane! Jerome sent out a tweet into the world, and the world responded in a huge way. Ben Stiller saw it and put a video out that went viral. Casey Neistat saw it and is now involved. So many other amazing influencers on social media are involved, and now the world is involved. Jerome launched a GoFundMe campaign and wants to raise $3 million by March 27th. That is a week from today. It has only been two days and they've already raised $1.6 million. I am filming this video on Sunday, so by the time this video comes out, I'm sure it'll be way more than 1.6 million. I personally donated $100 to this because I really believe in it. I think that Casey and Jerome and Ben Stiller are doing incredible things, and I want to be involved as much as possible. I was also curious to know who else was donating. I mean, Jerome put up $10,000 of his own money. Casey Neistat put up $10,000 of his own money. But I was most touched that GoFundMe, the website that this campaign is run on, donated $50,000. We only have one week from today to hit that mark of $3 million. The plane is booked and it's empty and we gotta fill it with supplies. In order to get supplies, we need to have the funds. In order to get the funds, you guys are awesome. There was a guy named Manfred driving a Tesla Model S on the Autobahn in Germany. Now the Autobahn is a highway with no speed limits. As he was driving, he saw a Volkswagen that was swerving left and right. And when he pulled up next to the car, he saw that the driver had fallen unconscious. He got the Volkswagen to eventually stop, causing a lot of damage to his own car. He stayed with the man until an emergency medical team could come and take him to a hospital. This is the tweet from Elon Musk. Congrats to the Tesla owner who sacrificed damage to his own car to bring a car with an unconscious driver safely to a stop. In appreciation, Tesla is providing all repair costs free of charge and expedited. That's what car companies should be doing. <coughs> Elon Musk for president. Over 200 years ago, there was a guy named Nikola Tesla. He believed we could live in a world of wireless energy. Devices like this wouldn't need to be plugged into a cord anymore. Cords are gone. This is now charging just in the air. The research team at Disney just created a room with wireless energy. These suck and they get tangled and you lose them and it's just a better world without them. The room they invented has a huge rod in the middle of it and it emits electromagnetic waves. The waves are not harmful to humans, but they will charge every single one of your devices. Just by walking in the room, your device starts charging. <laughs> also, why is Disney inventing this? Saudi Arabia is the world's largest crude oil exporter, and they've just started a $50 billion campaign to phase out fossil fuels in favor of renewable energy. The country plans on creating 10 gigawatts of energy by the year 2023. That's like six years away? With that energy, they can power five million homes. And they're gonna do it only with solar and wind. And this is just the beginning. Their huge plan is to have 700 million gigawatts of power. That's about 350 million homes. A Japanese newspaper is doing something no other newspaper company has ever done before. The newspaper is made of 100% recycled paper and vegetable paper. I didn't know you could make paper out of vegetables. How does that even work? Hey Siri, how do you make paper out of vegetables? I found this on the web for how do you make paper out of vegetables. Ooh, there's even a YouTube video. The best part is inside the pages of the paper are seeds that can be planted. Once you're done with your newspaper, you rip up the pages and you plant them in the soil. A little sprinkle of water, a little dash of fairy dust, and boom! You have plants. You don't need the fairy dust though. With over 4 million copies of this newspaper going out every single day, that's a lot of plant life. This also made the newspaper so popular that they went up in sales by $700,000. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know which of these stories you like the most. And if you have any good news stories, my email's down there. 
send me good news stories because I love hearing from you guys and sharing more good news from around the world. Have an awesome week, guys. Happy Monday.